All right, this is my review of Overreacting. What am I, Dane Cook? It's like, I don't have a lot of personality, so I got to make up for it with fucking... So anyway, uh, I fucking hate Dane Cook. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I, I write jokes and tell them sometimes, you know, like a comedian. Uh, even like the starters up don't respect Dane Cook. It's just how it is. Like, he made his money and stuff, which is great. He's a good businessman, but fuck him as a comedian. He's not funny. He's not original. He's just a psychopath who does coke or something before a show. Not that Lenny Bruce didn't do that, and he was ten times greater, but still, you know, he did heroin, though. Uh, okay, uh, for all you people that are, don't know who Lenny Bruce is and are fans of Dane Cook, uh, sorry. Okay, this is a... Uh, this is a review to uh, the Kobashi Masawa retrospective posted by H781N on YouTube. Uh, this guy is great. He posts the classic matches, obviously. He posts a dozen of these. I call this the Masawa Kobashi dozen. Coin that. Just like I coined Lundrick. I coined Lundrick. Don't let anyone tell you different. If anyone even remembers what that is, it was London and Kendrick as a tag team. Just before they started running wild, everyone's calling them the jesters or jokers and shit. And I'm just like, no, Lundrick, that's so much cooler. That fits their persona. Anyway, uh, yeah, this guy posts everything. He posts all, he posts New Japan, Smash, Zero One, Noah, like full shows. Like, even the curtain jerkers and dark matches, all that shit. So anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get to this shit. Our first match is obviously... Masawa Mitsuharu versus Kobashi Kenta, April 5th, 1991, AJPW, All Japan. Um, this is probably the first like real quality match between these two. Now, they faced each other when Masawa was under the guise of Tiger Mask 2. But I, I don't count that in this series. It wasn't in there anyway, so. Um, yeah, this is the first really good match to start. Arguably the greatest feud in professional wrestling history. I gotta give this like 75%. And for people who disagree, it's the greatest. You have Flair and Steamboat, obviously, is an argument. And you have your, obviously, Masawa versus Kawada. Now, I thought Kawada versus Masawa is more like, I'm gonna concuss you, I'm gonna break your bones, I may be friends with you in person, but I don't like you. It's sort of like, you know what I mean? Like the people you know personally, you wanna hurt more. For some reason, in competition, or boxing, and like whatever, and mixed martial arts, it, Shawn Michaels and Triple H said it themselves. I've seen fights in MMA where guys are like giving each other like high fives and like liver punches and like trying to knock each other out. It's just that's that's what happens. It was the Shawn Michaels Triple H thing, and they said you always want to hit your friends harder. It's just, it's I don't know I I don't know when I became an anthropology teacher, but. <laughs> a professor, but I guess I am now. Unofficially, of course. But good job, though. Chicks probably dig it. I got one, though, so I'm good. Okay, uh, yeah, this is a 91. Uh, it's, it's, uh, about 75%. It's pretty good. And uh, then their second encounter, which I preferred, is Hawa versus Kobashi, All Japan Pro Wrestling, April 12, 1993. That's the second encounter, in my opinion, and, you know, just not much. It was different, but it wasn't much better, but it was just a little better, which is where the percentage rating, rankings, whatever, ratings, yeah, uh, fuck up the star ratings. So much better. Okay, star ratings. You want to rate two matches, three and three-quarters star, but one match is slightly better. Uh, and someone's just reading it. They're not going to know if they're just reading that. So you have... 75% and then you'd be like, but I like this match a little better if it's not by four stars, right? Or 80%. 76. It works. It's perfect. Once you like get into it and figure it out, get used to it, you don't want to use star rings anymore other than to clear to clarify it to people that keep asking you, which they ask me a lot. My most common question. Next to, uh, will you suck my penis? But that's a different thing. I may, even though I'm straight. Okay, <laughs> then we had Misawa versus Kobashi, All Japan Pro Wrestling, 
March 26, 1995. This, you know, this really showcased what to what stars these men were going to be coming. Now, Masao was obviously a star, and Kobashi obviously had like a crowd with him. But what I'm saying is, this was like on their own. Like it wasn't Jumbo, and it wasn't Stan Hansen. You know, it, it was Masao, Kobashi, Kawada, Tawei. It was like a new age. Like the past, like we respect the past, but we're taking over kind of thing. Which a lot of companies need to do, TNA. Uh, okay, so 80%, uh, uh, yeah, it's the first uh, four star match, I think, in this series, if you want to use the star ratings. Okay, then we had a Triple Crown Championship Musawa Mitsuharu, the champion, versus the challenger Kobashi, uh, All Japan Pro Wrestling, October 10, 1995. Sorry, October 26, 1995. I was reading the wrong one. Even though I memorize these, I read them. Uh, you know, what a classic hard stopping match. <laughs> the crowd was eating in their hands. I was eating in their hands. It was, like, it was like a fucking. The crowd was like a fucking pigeon in a park. The, and then Rosal and Kobashi were just like, here's your bird seed. I eat it up. Best crowd in the series, probably. Just fucking incredible. You know, 93%. Like. It's not it's talked about as other matches, but it's, you know, it was fucking good. Like, it's in the five star neighborhood. Again, star ratings. But then we had a. We had a. Just a regular match between the two. Not regular, but like Champions Carnival or something. You know, it was really great, unpredictable. Uh, March 31st, 1996, All Japan. Uh, but 86%. Uh, yeah. I don't think too many notes. Like, I remember moves and stuff, but if I just, like, have Nelson suplex three times, like, on the other side, Hurricane Run on the outside, like, I remember all this shit, but it, it's not just about the spots, it's about the emotion. Like, I, I personally don't like... I personally don't like uh, Kobashi in the role of the champion because I think he is a natural-born challenger, even though he's bigger. Misawa came off as more of the bully, despite being like the light heavyweight, heavyweight, you know what I mean? So, sort of. But yeah, uh, yeah, Kobashi and Misawa in 1997, January 20th, was fucking excellent, 100%. A, a lot of people say it's the greatest match of all time. Uh, I. I don't think Vince McMahon or Jim Crockett could ever touch this. They could come close, but I don't think they ever quite hit this. Uh, this is most people's favorite in the series, from what I've, from what I can gauge. Then we had Misawa versus Kobashi from All Japan, April 19th, 97. This is a great match, and but obviously not the greatest. Uh, it's like about 78, 79%. Now it sounds like I'm talking about some fucking average match, but I'm not. Just for these guys, it's like a step back. Because they set such a high standard, which is part of the reason why the Japanese crowds are so spoiled now, and they don't want to jump off their seats when someone does a top rope fucking brain buster or something. And that's what leads to national tuning and earfalls. It's the crowd. A lot of people need to understand that. Okay, then we had... Uh, Another championship match, this time the way I like it. Uh, Misawa Mitsuharu versus Kenta Kobashi with Misawa as the Triple Crown Champion. Uh, All Japan Pro Wrestling, obviously, October 21st, 97. Now, now, fun fact, this match is sponsored by Sega Saturn. Anybody remember that? Huh? I had a babysitter with one of those because I couldn't afford it at the time. I was a little kid. Anyway, uh, <laughs> kind of poor. Uh, babysitter, used to, they used to steal like car stairs and stuff. Brothers, nice guys, a little psychotic, and now they're in prison for a long time. But you know, good guys. Uh, they had the Sega Saturn anyway. That was fucking cool. I just thought it was cool that Ring had Sega Saturn on it. Uh, <laughs> this is actually one of the very good matchup. Uh, 83, 84 percent. Now this could hit like 95 percent or something, but the crowd was so dead. I think they were all playing Sega Saturn during the match, and they're like, oh, I didn't notice what was going on. So anyway, about 25 minutes of the match, they started catching fire. 
because Masao and Kobashi are killing each other. That's what it took. Like. It's like just <laughs> killing each other. Anyway, yeah, great match. Then we had uh, all um, Triple Crown Championship, Kobashi Kenta versus Misawa, Kobashi as champion, October 31st, 98. What a fucking match, you know? 100%. Still, uh, guys in Japan, other places in Japan, PWG, ROH, whatever, they always emulate this kind of shit, but they can never quite pull it off. Uh, Chris Hero and Brian and Danielson, I... Gear Sun Frontier, I think that's how you say it. They, you know, came close, but they didn't quite pull it off. Uh, yeah, 100%. Then we had my personal favorite. Uh, it was All Japan Pro Wrestling, June 11, 1999. Sorry, this is my, yeah, this is my personal favorite. And, you know, this was um, Sal as the champion versus Kobashi. Now, I was so behind Kobashi. I'm so invested in him. Even watching it again the first time, I was like crying almost. Like, it's still real to me, damn it. But not, no, not that fat or anything. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, yeah, I was really pulling for Kobashi in this one. I gotta give this like 101%. And like, I just said that I had to make up a rating for this match. It's probably my favorite match ever. I mean, the, you know, there's always time to change it. I'm not one of those people like, it can never be topped. You know? Who knows? Don't underestimate the young guys. Anyway, then we had Kobashi Kenta versus Misawa Mitsuharu. I believe this is the last All Japan match, April 15, 2000, against each other one on one. Uh, I think this is the last great, great, great All Japan match. Now, nobody talks about this match. It's like it just got released or something. I'm the first person you saw it. If I put this like 98%, I couldn't believe how incredible it was. The crowd was great. It was so different from the other matches. And the finish was obviously different. Just incredible stuff. 98%. Okay, then our final match, Pro Wrestling Noah. March 1st, 2003, GHC Heavyweight Championship. Misawa Mitsuharu versus... Kobashi Kenta. Uh, this is sponsored by the original Xbox. Eh? What a great end to an amazing, fantastic, perfect rivalry. Just, you know, 100%. Crowd was so hot. It's the hottest I've ever heard of Noah crowd by far. They had to work for it, but still, you know? The crowd was really into it. That's what you expect from a crowd. Uh huh? You see, you had the head drop and stuff. They went like more into high gear despite being older because the young people, you know, the headlocks and stuff is not their thing. But, you know, I like that stuff, really. As long as it's done right. Like, I used to mark out for Misawa face locks. Like, I thought they mattered. Like, oh. Damn, they do matter. Yeah, you know, great series. I gotta recommend this to everyone. For all 12 of the Misawa vs. Kobashi super clashes, as I call them, check out H781N. I'll put the link in the description box. All kinds of shit. Can't say enough about this guy or girl. I don't know. Could be a girl. I just fucked around earlier. <laughs> so check this shit out. Uh, I'll definitely, uh, I'll probably make a preview for ROH's pay-per-view upcoming, the ninth anniversary show. Uh, I'm going to probably make that today because I got a lot of energy coursing through me. And I, I assume that like different people watch different videos. I mean, Japan's Japan and uh, Ring of Honor's Ring of Honor. I, I, did any of you guess that I was a Ring of Honor fan? New viewers? I am. I think they're really good. <laughs> 